right, welcome back Paso High Anatomy students. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at dissection number six, the superficial neck and jaw muscles. Um, for this dissection, you're going to have to be removing some skin on the jaw as well as the underside of the chin. Um, hopefully you did a good job when you were skinning the cat on the neck that you shouldn't have a whole lot of fur sitting here. You can see how I'm kind of drawing the line. So I'm going to use my scissors and my blunt probe and uh, be cutting and exposing as much fur as I can around the jaw and the chin. So we're just going to kind of get rid of some of this stuff. Don't be too concerned about going too deep. Um, I mean, always leave whatever, if, when in doubt, leave the tissue on the cat. Don't let it come off with the skin. But there's quite a bit of connective tissue that separates the muscles from the skin. There's also some glands that we don't care about, um, lymph nodes. But uh, we're just going to kind of remove. You're going to end up getting this nice piece of skin kind of off under the jaw. Almost all the stuff can just come right off. You know how your skin felt when you took off the cat. If it felt like there was a lot of stuff between the skin and the muscles, uh, you probably don't need to worry. If your cat had very, very thin layer of connective tissue and you were worried the whole time you're damaging muscles, then you might need to be a bit more careful when you remove this. All right. Again, you can leave that foam piece in the mouth of the cat right now, but eventually you're probably going to have to take it out as you uh, lift the chin up. Again, that foam piece is just there to keep the teeth from tearing holes in your bag and causing your bag to leak out all the preservative and then start to dry out. So pretty soon here we're going to have all of the skin off. And I can actually get started on the actual dissection itself. Alright, let's speed this up. Alright, so I got rid of the piece. Now let's just take a quick survey of what I'm looking for. First muscle that we need to find for ourselves is the masseter, which you're going to find right here on the jaw, okay? If you can find the masseter, everything else should fall into place for us, okay? So find the masseter first. This is the muscle you use to chew your food with, okay? The verb, we call it to masticate. Masticating means to chew. Right there, I got my probe underneath the jugular vein. So what you're going to do is just kind of remove any connective tissue you see and kind of keep scratching down until you find this kind of shimmery, um, smooth surface. Um, you should definitely see fascicle directions, but you'll see the masseter. It's what's going to pull the mandible up and down to make you chew your food. And once you find the masseter, I've kind of pushed on it right there. You can see the masseter. You're then going to go underneath all this connective tissue around it. See, I've got my probe through it. All the stuff, you're going to go underneath the jugular vein, and you're going to cut right through it. We don't really need it. Um, again, this is not a study of the veins. Your book picture in your little study packet shows all the stuff beautifully dissected out. We're not going to worry about that. Um, we're going to remove this tissue down and hopefully expose what we're looking for is the digastric muscles. So again, we'll speed this up. Going to be removing. You're going to notice that right here, so just so we see what we're at so far, the masseter was up here and you might be able to see a line right there and another line right here. What we're seeing is this muscle and this muscle. So we have the digastrics. There's two of them and they're going kind of in two different directions. This way and this way. In between them is another muscle called the mylohyoid. So we'll wait for that one a little bit later here in the dissection. So we're going to kind of free stuff up. I'm actually getting my probe underneath the di di digastrics carefully. I'm kind of dissecting them away from the mylohyoid underneath. So two little ribbons of muscle right there kind of going parallel to the jawline. And now you can really see the mylohyoid extremely well in between the two. All right, so now I'm just going to be working here, getting rid of more of these uh, blood vessels, uh, lymph nodes, not worrying about the glands. There's the jugular vein right there. Again, we're not concerned about that either. You might have some damage done to your cat from when they were draining it. Um, that is something that we can work with. A lot of people are, I'm trying to get my sternocladomastoid set up now or on the, um, sorry, sorry, the kitty cat. It's called the sternomastoid on a human sternocleidomastoid. So we're, we're looking for this muscle that's going to come from the sternum all the way up to the mastoid process. So let's see if I can highlight this here. What we're looking for here is a muscle that's attached to the sternum and is going to go all the way up and attach to the mastoid process on the temporal bone. And this muscle is called the sternomastoid. Okay. There's another muscle called the sternum. It goes up to the hyoid bone. It's called the sternohyoid. So sternomastoid and sternohyoid, two different bones, two different muscles we're going to be looking for here. 
So again, I'm going to be kind of clearing some things up, removing tissue on the surface. Again, depending on how your cat was preserved and what tore when you were removing the skin, you could have uh, kind of different results here. You're also going to get a little bit of the uh, uh, clavotrapezius and the clavodeltoid might be kind of coming there on the far right there. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this. I believe during this dissection the phone rang, so I had to uh, run and answer the telephone. There we go, and oops, the phone rang, so let's go and minimize this one. Maximize this one. We're back into it. Back where we left off. Okay. All right. So let's try to take a close look. Once my hands are out of the way, I'll pause this video and we can kind of see some of the muscles that we should hopefully find on our cat. Okay, I'm removing the rest of the jugular vein right there. And I'm trying to clear up the sternomastoid as best I can. Right now I'm getting on the sternohyoid, removing some of the connective tissue. Gots to be very, very, very careful around the sternomastoid. I mean the sternohyoid, uh, right there on the throat, right where I'm looks like I'm just shredding the heck out of things. Got to be very careful when we go through removing the superficial stuff. These muscles can flake off extremely easy. All right, I'm just kind of getting some of the stuff off the surface and freeing up each one individually. Okay, whoa, okay, let's go back here real quick. Can I go backwards a smidgen? Can I free this up? Uh, it's all blurry. Okay, I'll wait for a better view here. All right. Okay, and right now we're just freeing things up. Making sure we can see each individual muscle. Okay, so right now is a good moment. Freeze it right here where we're looking at here. So what I'm hoping to see here is coming down here, I'll show you kind of the line. I should be seeing the sternomastoid right there. Sternum is obviously the breastbone of the kitty cat sternum up to the mastoid, right here in the throat region, this kind of region right here, coming in kind of two bands, coming down here, this part should be my sternohyoid, from the sternum to the hyoid bone of the throat. Above the sternohyoid, I see my two digastric muscles, I'm lining them up right there, the digastrics I showed you earlier, I have the mylohyoid, Notice it's named off of the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone would be about right here. The sternum is about right here. The mastoid process is back here. So everything's kind of named based on what you see. Uh, the mandible would be over here coming up and around the mandible. So we see the sternohyoid, I mean, this, yeah, sternomastoid, sternohyoid, mylohyoid, digastric, and then of course over here is the masseter, the muscle that we use to chew with over there, okay? So let's kind of finish up this dissection quickly here. I'm going to free everything up. I think at the end here I show um, some of the, uh, you can actually on the one side wherever they drain the fluid from your kitty cat, you'll be able to see the trachea. That's I'm, I'm right there. I'm underneath the, uh, I'm right underneath the uh, sternohyoid right there. I got my probe under him for a split second there. All right, there I'm getting my probe under it again. Okay, so I'm just lifting them up. And then you're actually going to be able to see on the side here, you should be able to see the trachea. Behind the trachea is the esophagus. And you'll also be able to find the carotid artery that they've actually put a hole in when they pump the cat full of preserve. There, I'm, I'm poking it right there, touching it with my finger. The trachea would be right here. Let's see if we can highlight the trachea. So the trachea is a tube, the windpipe. And you're actually going to see these rings. They're blue rings of hyaline cartilage that are actually holding it open. Pretty dang cool. Uh, to find the trachea right there on the cat. And in front of the trachea is the sternohyoid. And right here on my probe is underneath the carotid artery. It's much deeper than the jugular vein. And you're going to notice, I, I try here, but I doubt you're going to be able to see it right there. You might see a little nick in the carotid artery. 
a little hole that they put in it when they were draining the cat of their, its body fluids and then pumping the uh, preservative into the blood vessels of the cat. So I, I get a, trying to get in closer there, but it's not really probably worth it. I actually got my probe into the hole there. You can actually see it's actually inside the little gap. So that pretty much sums it up. I think I try to get one last good view. I'm just going through, through and touching all the muscles one at a time. All right, so hopefully we can see all these. If I just quit moving the mouse cursor around, that would be good. All right. Oh, awesome, this thing just shows up on its own, so it kind of blocks the view again. But again, I have one muscle there, the masseter. Maybe I should do this. One, two, three, four, and then five. So there are five muscles that you should know. Let's see if we know what number one is. So number one is the masseter. Number two, what do you think that one is? It's the digastric. Number three, it's the mylohyoid. Number four, sternohyoid. And then number five, sternomastoid. All right, so we might want to review this. Watch the video again if you need to. Otherwise, get ready for this dissection in class.